Our final witness is Tom Lee. I like to call him Tommy Lee, but uh, director of Sunlight Labs at the Sunlight Foundation. What a cool name for a foundation. That's, the Sunlight Foundation seeks to dramatically expand access to government information in order to create accountability of public officials. It also seeks to make public information available online. There's a, it matters as we heard Dr. Coburn's been very much interested in, and he's let me be his partner from time to time as well. Sunlight Labs is an open source community supported by the Sunlight Foundation that's dedicated to using technology to correct and co convert government data to user-friendly applications. Prior to leading Sunlight Labs, Mr. Lee uh, led the Sunlight Foundation's, uh, is it called Subsidy Scope? Subsidy project? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I understand explored the level of federal involvement in various sectors of the economy. Uh, Mr. Lee. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today to speak about federal program management and transparency. As you've mentioned, I'm the director of Sunlight Labs, the technical arm of the Sunlight Foundation. Sunlight is a nonprofit uh, that is dedicated to using the power of the Internet to catalyze greater government openness and transparency. We take inspiration from Justice Brandeis's famous adage that sunlight is the best of disinfectants. Our work on technology and accountability has naturally led to a focus on data and its capacity for improving how government functions. We collect, improve, and redistribute a wide variety of types of government data, serving millions of citizens, journalists, watchdogs, and researchers. In recent years, spending data has become a particular focus for us, most notably through our analyses of USAspending.gov data quality. We believe that data about government spending and operations are among the most essential forms of information that a government can publish. This information is a prerequisite to any meaningful analytic effort to maximize efficiency or improve the value received for taxpayer dollars. But its utility extends beyond these important questions. Spending data is one of the clearest measures that citizens have of their government's priorities and effectiveness. It serves as an important antidote to appeals based solely on rhetoric. We believe that the current administration deserves credit both for its commitment to open data and for its efforts to reduce duplication and waste. In particular, the effort that began with the federal IT dashboard to reduce unproductive IT spending is worthy of praise. Agency-led IT projects are particularly prone to failure and in need of stronger oversight. At their worst, such efforts represent complex, large appropriation engineering projects that are implemented by contractors and supervised by agency staff that do not have experience managing technical undertakings. The capabilities and incentives within this dynamic create a high potential for waste. And the administration's stated commitment to a stronger, centralized supervisory role in such projects is welcome. We're similarly pleased to see this committee considering the Taxpayer Right to Know Act. This legislation promises to expand the information of both the public and oversight bodies and to do so in a way that minimizes the associated disclosure burden. We believe that the existing programmatic description process conducted in connection to the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance, or CFDA, could be expanded to include the data newly mandated by this Act. The CFDA already includes some information about program salary costs, statutory authorizations, and accomplishments. Making this reporting more granular, uniform, and complete promises to substantially increase the usefulness of the CFDA. And because this reporting system already exists, we are optimistic that the costs associated with the Taxpayer Right to, Act, right to Know Act will be minimal. However, we do wish to urge the committee to consider revisions to the Act that would enhance its clarity and effectiveness. In particular, the difficulty of getting meaningful data from the jobs reporting requirements of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act should serve to underscore the need for imposing specific, clear methodology upon those reporting such data. For example, the language in the bill calling for accounts of the number of full-time federal employees rather than the number of full-time equivalents is a potential source of imprecision that could result in data that is difficult or impossible to use effectively. Similarly, the bill's definition of services specifies a criterion for inclusion based upon direct benefits to recipients. In the past, a similar provision in the Federal Funding Accountability and Transparency Act has, in Sunlight's opinion, been used inappropriately by agencies to claim that certain activities, like the National School Lunch Program, are completely exempt from spending disclosure requirements. Finally, although it's admittedly beyond the scope of the bill as currently written, we urge the committee to consider addressing agencies' programmatic contract spending. The data quality problems of USAspending.gov, the system's failure to associate disclosed contract data with specific programs, and the opacity and complexity of the federal procurement system can make it surprisingly difficult to determine how agencies are using private firms to pursue their missions. Consider, for example, the initial difficulty in identifying CGI Federal as the vendor behind healthcare.gov's troubled launch. Yet anyone who spends time in Washington is sure to encounter
contractors who perform the same work as agency personnel, but at much higher hourly rates. In some cases, these arrangements may be well justified, but in others, they may be the product of agency attempts to ignore personnel hiring and compensation standards, to avoid transparency requirements, or simply to obfuscate the degree of investment that a program represents. Collecting and publishing data about the major contracts associated with each program, their size and duration, and relevant employees' average compensation rates would enable oversight bodies to monitor and control program spending far more effectively. But although we believe these alterations could significantly strengthen the bill, we wish to emphasize our support for the kind of transparency efforts that the Taxpayer Right to Know Act represents. Recent attention to federal spending data, notably including the Data Act, promises to provide Americans with a more accurate accounting of their government's activities, priorities, and options. We believe that this will empower policy that is more efficient, equitable, and cost-effective. We welcome your attention to these matters and encourage you to continue to engage with transparency issues as they relate to the committee's work. Thank you for the opportunity to speak today, and I look forward to answering any questions you might have. Thank you, thank you Mr. Lee.